Hey, DOT community, this is a lot coming at you with a quick video of Tengu with his uh, few changes to the prestige skills and synergy uh, relic, which is the Tanto Blade. The synergy on this relic at level 5 gives 50% uh, base hoard and greater damage. And level 10, uh, Tengu's fifth skill, Sentinel, will also react to enemy spells. That's the one that I see uh, kind of making a major difference uh, <laughs> when it comes down to your Tengu battles. Uh, of course, I've tested him out a few times already before starting this, and it's, it's a bit tough to get everything that you want with the relics, because... You really want the Grenadiers to punch hard. Uh, I know this is not a solo build because most people enjoy going in and using Tango solo. It's not because since this Tonto Blade is so oriented towards the uh, Horde and Grenadiers, especially even with the Synergy because the Horde's dropping uh, on that uh, Sentinel Invoke, I, I pretty much made it into a, um, a Horde meat shield grenadier attack titan but the thing is tengu has to stay alive to get all his crits out it's just a lot of horde that's what i noticed at the end of every battle um it's just a bunch of horde that keep on dropping uh which makes me think you know is this titan more defensive now that's honestly what it's and you'll see in some of these battles that i'm about to do so of course here we got well, let's see Brand new Runa. Uh, oh, there's the Tengu. Uh, Ares. Let's see. Beowulf. Let's see how he goes. How he does against Beowulf. This is a P10 Tengu uh, versus. It uh, looks like a Prestige One. Hold on, Beowulf. Yeah, P1 Beowulf. So, uh, you'll notice the relics that I used, I'm, I was doing my best to get the Horde, uh, really high melee resist. Uh, and you might say, oh, Stone Pantheon, what are you doing, Zalon? Well, it gives 20% Titan and troops resisting its melee, and Titan and army critical. So, in all honesty, for this build, <laughs> I'm trying to do, eh, I, like I said, it was tough. There's a lot of things that I kept on fighting back and forth to see if it would actually do better. But instead of, for instance, in a lot of the cases of previous battles that I went in against Necromancer and and uh, Hachi and prestige versions of them, of course, uh, what I noticed was instead of losing in like 60 seconds or a minute and a half, I was just losing in like three minutes, three and a half minutes. So it was like prolonged, extra long battle. <laughs> so, I don't know, it didn't seem seemed weird now just to give you an idea if we lose p10 versus p1 it should give you an idea of how much of an investment even if i win by even a little bit that just means why well, it's a heavy investment in the tengu just to be able to have a win against the prestige one beowulf but you'll see there's so many Horde that drop, it's insane. And they'll just keep dropping all over the place. Now you'll notice all my grenadiers are gone. This happens quite a lot against a lot of the different defenders because they summon troops into my range and the grenadiers can never hold their own. But you'll notice more and more and more horde are dropping. So it's like, well... If that's the case, why buff the Grenadiers just go all Horde? So, it's kind of crappy because a lot of Tengu's skills are very much attack-based for fire. Not really helping the Horde. And I know it's because the Horde is supposed to be their meat shield, but... They're never able to cover the troops that drop directly on your ranged. That's the one thing. Notice even more Horde are dropping. And they're not even Omega. They're just more Horde. Now that's due to the fact that that's because of the Prestige skill uh, 10. Because there's more, there's more Horde that drop as well.
not just the Omegas. So this battle just drags on. <laughs> it just seems like when it comes down to trying to use the Synergy Relic and the troops together, instead of just doing a straight, you know, solo build for Tengu, just pushes the damage to ridiculous levels and just let him go in and take care of things. Trying to use the troops efficiently and effectively uh, with the Synergy Relic and against these newer Dragon Slayers and uh, Archmages, which, when it comes down to uh, dropping on your ranged Grenadiers, which are the ones that have the most attack power, it's not the Horde. And of course, like I said, I tried to make it so the Horde are as tanky as possible, but then at that time you think, well, are you just building a defensive Titan? Because the Grenadiers never last. <laughs> no... See how this battle's dragging out? It's like, well, I never would have thought Tengu with troops would last this long. Well, yeah, but at the same time, it's not effectively winning as much as it's just dragging the battle out to a ridiculous sense. It's like dealing with uh, Necromancer when he first came out. So, so I just want to put this out there. We can do another battle after this, too. And some might say, well, why don't you try Night Whisper, you know, buff the troops, not not the Titan. That just makes Tengu de go down earlier, and then you don't get all the uh, all the summoned troops. So, in all essence, it's kind of more necessary to make sure you at least put on the one. That's why it's it's hard to really choose which to, to go one direction, you know, just buff all the troops, you know. Because you want those criticals from Tengu to be able to... Uh, to be working in your favor. So. Uh, now also too. All those attack skills that Tengu has. Um, or, I mean all those skills are for attack. For Grenadiers. So if you just put them on defense. Like I said. It just feels like that there's a lot. That you're just sacrificing just because you have him on defense. Now, it doesn't mean he's not going to be a bad land defender. But he's not going to be number one. Because, most likely, you're not going to put, you know, 18 Titans to make him prestige level 10. And you're going to see. I drug this battle out to almost a full five minutes. And we'll do one, we'll, we'll do, uh, one more. But you'll get the idea of what really is going on here. So I just want to put this out there so players know that the Synergy Relic, it's nice. It drags the battles out, gives you more troops, because now that you're able to, more um, Omega troops are going to drop due to the fact that there's so many spells oriented with many of the newer Titans that that triggers and makes you have more of a meat shield a lot quicker. My thing is, though, the troops that are dropping from your enemy are just going to take down your... Uh, Oh, here, Tango, I'll give you a little bit of a bonus here. I got one Rage left. Now people are going to say, well, why aren't you using Staff of Rage? Well, I had to get that melee up on the uh, on the Horde troops uh, to make it actually worthwhile. Now, if I switch over to Staff of Rage, eh, it'll be better, but the Horde just disappear. All they're doing is they take up less time. That's all it is. They're not making any impact whatsoever. Um, when they don't have enough melee resist. And there you go, I took it the time. Don't heal your troops. <laughs> so, we'll do another one. And that was against a uh, P1 Beowulf. Now, let's try to take on a non prestiged Minotaur. See how good this is. Because Minotaur is going to be dealing with um, Spearmen. So the Grenadier should do pretty well. And there's no 5-star on here. So let's see Tengu actually win one. And hopefully win it efficiently. Because he should. He really should. But if it takes ev super, super long, it's just, again, going to show that... Tengu is a solo build 
It's going to be way better than trying to work with the troops. And, and also, too, how many players are going to be pulling off major relics off of other builds to be able to mess around with Tengu? That's something else to consider. You know, you might only have, you know, one banner of war, two banners of war on two titans that you're not going to want to take them off. Well, then... All right, smoked him. <laughs> Maybe we'll do something a little bit more difficult. <laughs> at least you know everything's at least working to some capacity. You can take down a Minotaur. How about a Nurgle and Panthers? Now, again, this, the only reason I'm going up against these older Titans, here it is, P3 Nurgle with a Night Whisper. It's because I'm not a, all the all the dragon slayers you go up against and all the uh, archmages you go up against. All that's gonna happen is like I was saying before is you're not gonna lose in a minute, minute and a half with troops. This is all in, with troop situations using the new synergy relic and stuff like that. You're just gonna lose a few minutes longer. That's what I notice. So if you're planning on doing this event for the Synergy Relic and for the Titan and everything else, this is this is what you're getting. Just so you know. There we go. Let's take on something a little bit more difficult. Did lose a bunch of troops. But let's see. New Bruna. This will be the last one. But you'll get the idea. And why aren't some certain players who do battle videos not do, not coming out with this content? It's because that would mean they have to go up and get the Synergy Relic. <laughs> Understandable. Let's see what they can do. Taking Runa down. I see losing that whole back of Grenadiers. It's pretty crippling. I'm lucky to have some of these grenadiers off to the side that still are around, but again, they're not going to be putting out enough damage to be able to make as much of a difference as I would like. And here they go. It was militia. It crashed through. So against New Maruna. What do we expect? All right, DLT community. I think you get an idea. I'm sure there's still other other players that are going to say that there's better builds. But in all honesty, like I was saying before, are you going to sacrifice those better build relics for just Tengu? 
when you could use them on other titans in the game that are probably a lot better on attack and or a lot better on defense. All right, DOT community, I will talk to you all again very soon. Have a good one.